Na-experience mo na ba na umorder ka ng isang bagay tapos nung diniliver sa'yo, ang layo ng itsura doon sa nasa website nila or catalog na ini-expect mo? O kaya naman, umorder ka ng food online tapos ini-expect mo dapat i-deliver sa'yo ng alas 12 ng tanghali. Tapos dumating hapon na, tiba? Tapos gutom na gutom ka na. Or nag-i-expect ka na sasagutin ka niya. Pero hindi pala. Aray ko. Ang saklap, di ba, pre? Kasi nag-expect ka eh. At yun ang problema natin lahat. Na kahit sa anong bagay, mataas minsan ang expectations natin. Kaya tayo, na full prostrate So kung ikaw yung tao na yun na mataas ang expectation at na full prostrate ka lang, well, para sa'yo itong topic na to. Kaya huwag kang bibitaw at dilipat ng ibang channel. So hello, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Kuya Ram. So kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, consider subscribing and ring the bell button below so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos that I publish every week. So striving to do better is a good thing. But try to have a realistic expectations. Because you know what? Everything in life isn't black or white. Meron kasi mga gray areas and meron mga some in-betweens. So everything can't be perfect all the time. And also, everything isn't horrible all the time. Example, you decide to skip a meeting or a social event because you are running 5 minutes late. Or, you canceled an entire trip because your flight is delayed. O kaya naman, you feel like a terrible person for one innocent mistake na nagawa mo. So, nakaka-relate po ba kayo? Or baka worst pa dyan yung nangyari sa'yo? And when that happens, it leads to what? It leads to frustration and negativity. So, para ma-maintain mo yung tinatawag na joy of life, you must accept that you won't be perfect all the time. And neither will the people or things around you. And when you expect perfection from life, you also tend to expect the same from other people. Tama, di ba? And that kind of unrealistic thinking not only meets with a great deal of disappointment when your expectations aren't met. And it also puts unbearable pressure on the people you care about and can eventually destroy those relationships. Alam niyo po, ako guilty po ako dyan. Because, you know, sometimes ang taas na expectations ko. Kaya minsan, pag hindi ko namimit, napoprostate din po ako. Kaya para sa akin din itong topic na to para hindi lang sa'yo. So why not give people a break and stop demanding something from them that they have no ability to give you. And you know what? The Bibles tell us that. We all stumble, fall, and offend in many things. So if we make all mistakes, and we do learn to accept that it's just part of the human experience, kaya relax lang. So here's my question. In what specific ways do you need to be more accepting of the imperfect areas in your life? Or in the way someone else, imperfect areas affect you? So ano kaya mga sagot ninyo dyan? And as I end, here is my takeaway sa inyong lahat. In James chapter 3, verse 2, it says, For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man. At wala pong perfect sa atin. Dahil si God lang po ang perfect. So guys, I hope may natutunan kayo today. 
Lalo na doon sa mga mataas, lagi ang mga expectations at gusto perfect lagi. And if you find value dito sa video na to, at sa tingin mo maganda ito i-share sa mga friends mo na mga perfectionist at mataas lagi ang expectation, well, please feel free to share it to them. And lastly, don't forget to click the like and mag-subscribe ka na din kung hindi ka pa subscriber ng aking channel. So guys, I hope to see you again next week. Dito lang sa aking channel. So God bless you and thank you for watching.